showtime. Hello, carpet cleaning world. It's your administrator, Roger Lloyd, and welcome to Roger Lloyd's Friday Night Insights. Tonight we have, well, he's not really a guest. We have Antoine Evans. You remember him. He uh, did a whole lot of videos last year. He uh, bought a lot of marketing materials, but he did one thing when he purchased them. He used them. So, Antoine, I had a, a heck of a day today. I'm going to let you start talking and talk to us, tell us what you, what you feel, and we will see you next next week. Yes, and sir. Go ahead and talk to us. Hey, hey, hey. So I'm, I'm, you can hear me, Raj, real good? Oh, you, you straight. Oh, okay. All right. Well, before before I get started, I want to show everyone that I, I got my Ozo machine. I bought two of them. And um, I'm really excited uh, about the Wonder products and everything, Roger. And, and I, I didn't know anything about this uh, company until you, had, you know, I'd heard your show and and uh, you introduced me to him and, and I got a chance to talk to him one on one. What's up, Joe? Uh, so I'm excited about about uh, this this piece of equipment right here, man, uh, to do what what you uh, encourage us all to do is to pick up a couple of these and and uh and do some deodorization so i'm excited about that my man I'm excited about that tell them again what that is a lot of people might not have heard you uh, this right here is an ozone machine from wonders products uh picked it up from joe uh you had uh, called uh me and and had joe on the other line and and you know you guys were sharing with me uh what we could do with this particular piece of equipment right here and um just just super excited about it um, they're, they're a hundred bucks a piece. Uh, Janae got them, you know, I, I called Janae, she got it ordered for me, got me an account set up and got them shipped off to me. And I'm just really excited about, you know, this, this machine right here, because, uh, what is that CTI? They have the same, the same, you know, they got a ozone machine, but man, they want $500 for that machine. And I know you got a couple of them, Raj, I've seen them. And, um, but, but when you tell me about this one, man, it just, it just it would have been affordable plus um the the output that this puts out and everything i mean y'all y'all broke it down and joe broke it down and and uh, i just encourage carpet cleaning world y'all to uh, pick these up um it's just um i'm excited about how i'm going to use it um as a door opener with property managers uh and also to to with realtors and everything like that so you know to, to get some business man and um uh, let let it go to work and and, and pick up you know for um, you know for us in our in our industry so I'm excited man. Any fan ozone machine, any fan. Put any that in front of a fan for about four hours. Let the magic happen. Tell the property manager you'll meet them back there in about five hours. Always give it a little bit of time to finish what it do. That is ozone, and it it uh kills stagnant odors like cooking odors and smoke odors and so that's why it's such a good add-on for property managers is what antoine was saying because we already know we're going to clean the floors and the carpet and we're going to get the odors out of them but what about the cooking odors so yeah. you know, now what about the smoke odors now you have something to get we charge we try to get 125 dollars for about four hours and we pick up a couple of them. So if the property manager has a couple buildings, you can make you $125 without, without doing any labor. You just plug it in and you come back in four hours. And as Antoine would say, let it do what it do. Let it do what it do, man. All right. What else you want to talk to us about? Well, you know, uh, just um, this event that's coming up, this Carpet Cleaning World Conference. I want to uh, share with everyone. I'm going to be there. Um, looking forward to uh, meeting you, Mr. Lloyd. We've had a lot, a lot of talks on uh, on the phone, online, and everything. But I'm just looking forward to this conference uh, next week. Um, we will be there. I'll be there on the fifth. Uh, but the conference is on the sixth and the seventh uh, in in Las Vegas. And I'm just I'm just excited, man, to uh, you know come together with other like-minded. Uh, carpet cleaning world um, 
my brothers, my sisters out there that's in the carpet cleaning world that's going to come over. And uh, so we can all get together and, and, and meet, meet you, uh, Janae, um, and, and just um, have a good time going over some strategies, some more new strategies that you're talking about, some of the, the, the older strategies that you that you share with us and everything. And I'm, I'm just I'm excited, man. I'm excited about coming out to, to Vegas and and all of us getting together and all the speakers that you got coming and just excited about it, man. Yes. Um, what we're going to, one of the things we're going to basically, what I'm going to focus on is the $6,000 a month strategy. Um, I think the misconception is, oh, well, I need to make $10,000 a month. I need to make $20,000 a month. First of all, it's called the $6,000 a month strategy because that's the number that I came up with that anyone just starting out in the business can achieve. It can be the $8,800 a month strategy for you because maybe you meant your minimum charge to be $150. But in all reality, we can all get $100 for cleaning. There's so many misconceptions in our industry that I'm going to address. Um, as we saw today, there were a lot of uh, verbal or comment attacks. I mean, <laughs> you know what? When you live through two strokes and you're able to get up every day and do what you love and what you enjoy, you know, sticks and stones, but words will never hurt me. I mean, you know, and then like you were just saying, Antoine, before we started the broadcast, well, if I wasn't doing something, then nobody would be talking. So, you know, um, for the people that can benefit, because, see, I'm not talking about, like, the people that tell you, oh, I made $1,300 today. Well, that's great. Did you make it yesterday? Are you going to make it tomorrow? Do you have the same 1300 scheduled on Monday? No. Well, you know, it's, no, it's this was a different type of job and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I understand all that. But you cannot take that to the bank and get a loan to buy a house, to buy a car, a new truck. And see, that's where, you know, you have to ask yourself, and we're really going to talk about this at the conference. Do you want to own a carpet cleaning business or do you want to be a carpet cleaner? And that's deep. But it's real because, see, a carpet cleaning business has a profit margin. And it has a profit projection. And see, the $6,000 a month strategy is labeled at $6,000 because that's based on your profit margin being $100 getting three jobs a day. That's doable all day long. But, of course, you had a people like, oh, I wouldn't get out of bed for $100. Well, stay in bed then. This ain't for you. But see, you're a carpet cleaner. This conference is for a person that wants to run a carpet cleaning business. I mean, you guys want to talk about yardsticks and what they're used for. The lady was very impressed that I had the yardsticks and the hoses on top of it. It just showed something that she had never seen before. Oh, no, no, Roger. That's stupid. You only need yardsticks for this. I'm like, are we really arguing about yardsticks? See, that's that's scary in our industry. Like, this is what I'm talking about. If you don't need the yardsticks or you don't approve of them, just move on from it. Just go to the next post or, you know, maybe go to another group and, you know, talk about the biggest truck mounts and how I can suck the nail out of a wall, you know, because I'm going to tell you something. All that doesn't matter. Your customer just wants clean carpet. And see, we're going to really talk about systems at the conference. Because, and I'm going to say it now, and I was going to wait to the conference to say it to, say it to the attendees. But I think the whole carpet cleaning world needs to hear this. There's so many guys that'll tell you what they do. No, they won't. They'll tell you how much they make and they'll tell you you know what kind of equipment they have but they'll never tell you how 
I ask guys all the time. Oh, you say you make thirty thousand dollars a month, or well, no, no, I made I made thirty thousand dollars last month. Yeah, that sounds more maybe realistic. But then, did you say that you're working at night and you're doing jobs in the day? Well, of course. I mean, if you want to kill yourself, that's not a system. That's somebody just whatever comes, they're grabbing at it and they're going to you know do it. But that you can't take that to the bank. You can't make any money with that. So if me explaining systems to you so you can run a carpet cleaning business, you already are a carpet cleaner. Granted, you're a carpet cleaner. Hurrah. Good for you. But a systematic approach so you can own a carpet cleaning business because see, a carpet cleaner can't sell his business because all he's doing is selling himself. But a person that owns a carpet cleaning business, see, it's saleable. They can say they want forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 for it because they're making a steady income every month to go with the equipment and they're selling a clientele. We're not even going to get into the maintenance plan and all that that you and I discussed, Antoine, because they, they, we, if we can't get the understanding that we need to make a consistent $6,000 a month. Consistent. Now, if you can do $8,800 a month at $150 being your minimum, knock yourself out. That's what I'm talking about. But someone's just starting out. Someone that's green and wet behind the ears. Well, I got my truck mount. I got my low moisture machine. Yeah, yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, it's going to happen. No, it doesn't work like that because you didn't start off right, so it's not going to wind up right. And, yeah, you talk to all these burnt-out, contaminated carpet cleaners. Oh, you go ahead and listen to that Roger Lloyd guy if you want to. What's he got to offer? What's, what do I have to offer? A strategy. Are you going to tell them how to do it? Or are you just going to keep contaminating the industry saying, oh, yeah, flyers don't work? Well, no. if flyers don't work, why are landscapers and so many other service industry still using it? See, you got it's not that the flyer doesn't work. What doesn't work is what you have on your flyer. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's real. That's good. So. If you like, no, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I got a big uh, picture of my truck mount, and I'm standing in front of it, and I got um my truck and my equipment can suck the nail out of a wall. No, 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 no. And if you're not offering free estimates, see, people know that carpet cleaning is a service that's going to quickly depreciate when you walk out the door, as soon as they walk across it, as soon as they let Fifi and all them out of the cage and walk across the carpet, guess what? It's already depreciating. Yeah. The goal, the goal that you should want to get people to understand, or what I'm trying to get people to understand is I'm trying to get in their house. So yes, I have a steam cleaning special. Now, when I get in there, I'm going to talk about my packages because see the way we're going in this industry right now, we can't, we not, we just all over the place. We're trying, first of all, edge of cleaning, our clients is totally out the door. Like, I mean, all that that I said last year, I just felt that was it was pretty much a waste of time. You guys not trying to educate clean nobody. You trying to, like, tell them about your equipment. And you trying to, you know, market on Facebook and market on um, Google, which is nothing wrong with that. But it's a way to do it. It has to be a systematic approach. If you can't set your system up to be consistent, then you don't have a good system. Now, everyone knows I love Ray Kroc. Everyone knows that's the founder of McDonald's. He saw the two Mac brothers had what they call the speedy system. But 
they couldn't get it together so they could franchise it. And see, Ray Kroc couldn't even go home and go to bed and sleep at night because he saw this great speedy system that just needed to be copied. So it could be 1600 McDonald's around the world grossing 720, 720,000 in the nature. He said $720,000, no million a year. Did you hear what I just said? <laughs> He's not trying to have the best hamburger in the world. Because he knows people can go anywhere and get a hamburger. But he wants to have a decent taste in burger that if you get one in Fresno, California, or if you get <laughs> one right here in Pottstown, Pennsylvania, what's going to be the difference about that McDonald's hamburger? Oh, I, I know. Because somebody getting ready to say something stupid. Oh, Roger, there's a difference. The only difference is is the employee that's making it and going to put it in the bag for you. That's it. Systems. Now, if you was talking to Ray Kroc right now, or if you was listening to him talk, you wouldn't be sitting here saying, oh, he's a wannabe guru. You would be trying to figure out, you know, what's that system? How many companies, Burger King, Wendy's, all of them have a system, but McDonald's stands alone. Yeah, you can get a decent Whopper. I like a Whopper with cheese. I ain't going to lie. I mean, you know, I remember the old lady from Wendy's back in the day. Where is the beef? Remember that, Antoine? Where is the beef? <laughs> Wendy's. But it's something about McDonald's. Why do the kids always say, Mom, I want to go to McDonald's. Mom, I want to go to McDonald's. The kid be in the back crying and screaming and whatnot. You be like, shut the shut up. All right, we go to McDonald's, then just go to McDonald's. They branded themselves. Got the clown. Ray Kroc said in his movie that was portrayed by Michael Keaton, he said he liked the name McDonald's. He didn't like those, you know, claim the fame names, burger joint names like Burgers to Go, Hot Burger, Good Burger. He didn't want to name it none of that. He said McDonald's. You just it just was a smooth name. And let's think about it. McDonald's is. Oh, you McDonald's? Yeah, well, McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. Burger King. Well, you know, you know it's Burger King. <laughs> yeah, they're not ready for that yet. We're gonna say that for the conference. Gotcha. Um it gets real and it gets deep. Systems. I'm going to share with you mine until you can develop your own. Much more than a lot of these so-called guys that are telling you and the other groups, oh, well, you should do it like this. Who wants to make just $6,000? It's not just $6,000. It's $6,000 plus. But see, $6,000 is your profit margin. You can go to a bank. Yeah, I had a slow month. You had a slow month. You made $6,200. Yeah, that's a slow month for me. Excuse me? You're a carpet cleaner with one truck and you only work five days a week? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking like I'm talking to a loan officer at a bank. And uh, hold on one second. Antoine, talk to us. All right. All right. No, just um, carpet cleaning world. The reason why I I um I appreciate Roger Lloyd. You know, I'm a Roger Lloyd fan. You guys know that I have never stopped being a Roger Lloyd fan of of um his strategies, of his um his systems and everything. And and what I've done is uh, I met Roger on YouTube first, and I just checked him out. And I checked out a couple other guys on YouTube. And um at that time. At that time, you know, I was listening to him, and and he had he had talked about this this if you're not making six six thousand dollars consistently a month, then you need to call me, and that's and he had that in one of his videos, and and sometimes you know I'd make 
that amount. Then sometimes I wouldn't, then I'd make more. And, and just my, my company was just up and down, up and down, up it's and down. It's called the marketing roller coaster. The marketing roller coaster. That's right. And so, um, I mean, we all, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's some guys that are out there, uh, Raj, that maybe um, they got a line of credit. Uh, maybe, maybe they might be, um, they might be um, a second, a second generation. Um, yeah. Maybe they're, they're, they established it. Um, they're already established. And so they might, they might, they might do that. They might, they might make more than $6,000 a month. But then there's a lot of guys that we're barely making maybe a thousand dollars a week or, right. or, uh, you know, $1,500 a month. There's a lot of guys out there and, and women that are trying to figure it out. And, um, and so with your, with your system in your course, and there's other courses out there, but I hadn't, I hadn't ran into one that was a consistent to say, okay, you can make this every month. And so I called you, um, back then, um, year, year, year plus ago. And I talked to you and, and I, cause I, you know, I wanted to buy your system. And, um, you know, you interviewed me. I don't know if you, you know, you, you just didn't, I want to tell you guys, he just didn't like, just take my money. He just didn't. He was, it was kind of, it's kind of like I had to sell, Hey, please sell me, sell me your system. But in hindsight, looking back when I, when I met you, Raj, what you were doing is you wanted to see how serious I was about turning my company around, you know, and, 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 and you, you, you interviewed me. And, and so, but after, after we got past all that, I was, I was like, you take it too long, man. Uh, uh, how much is it? How much is it? How much is it? And, and then, you know, I bought, um, you know, you had three packages that I had bought. You have more packages, but at that time, you know, there was three packages that I wanted. And one was your residential package. And then the other one was your property management package. And your other one was, um, you know, with the real estate and everything. And I, I wanted, I wanted those documents. I wanted, I wanted to to have a system. I had checked out your YouTube videos, man, and um, and seeing you seeing you use what you're what you're selling. And um, and then that day, man, you know, uh, we did business. Mm -hmm. and, and from that time, from that time, you know, it's just like anything, Raj. You know, there's books, there's systems, and everything. You could buy a book, but not open it up and read. You know, and so there was a, you know, I had to get your stuff, then I had to study it, then I had to apply it, you know, because you could, you know, and that's just, that's, that's, that's what anything. So anyway, um, you know, one of, one of the first things that you and I had talked about at that time um, was the flyers. Mm -hmm. And that was one of, that was one of the strategies as far as just, um, um, the, the, you know, that I took off with, uh, with, with the flyers. And I'm going to tell you guys, um, after I got those flyers passed out and everything like that. And when I say the flyers, the door to door, the door to door flyers, cause I bought, you know, the three step, you have the three, three step flyers as well and all that. But, but to get, to just get some money coming in and everything, once I got those flyers out in the community, the phone started to ring. The price point was like what you said, you know, um, the neighborhoods that I distributed them in, it wasn't in like a nice, it wasn't in a, like a nice, nice neighborhood. Um, uh, when I, when I put those flyers out, but, but what I had learned from you, Roger, what I learned from you is that to not discriminate that, that, um, <clears throat> you know, I could go after these nice homes, but then also too, I could go after the the financial you call them financially challenged areas, and you you shared that you shared that philosophy that concept, and then they started calling, and 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 I would stay away from these neighborhoods. A lot of these neighborhoods that I put the flyers in, I didn't want to go do no business. I didn't think I didn't think that they wanted to spend any money or anything like that. But when I took them out there, they spent money, and at that time, you know. Um, 
at that time I was um, um, using my portable because I got a couple of truck mounts now. But at that time I was using my portable and everything. And you were saying in one of your on one of your your shows, they don't judge you. They don't judge you when you with, with your equipment and everything like that. And you can hone your skills and and all that. So all the things that you were that you were sharing that I might not have thought about or I might have thought about, but not really. You were sharing in your shows on, on carpet cleaning world, and and not they they were they were true. They came to be true, and um, I started getting these calls, and then I started making money, and then I just reinvested that money back into my marketing. And so, um, I'm just I'm saying to to all of you out there that's listening, you know I, I'm I'm a student, I'm a student to it, you know and. And I, you know, I've made money and made money with these contracts and, and carpet cleaning. However, you always can still learn. So I always like to just stay, stay learning. And um, and then and, and the beautiful thing, uh, Raj, about about your program and your system is you can you might already have a system that you're developing right now within your company, but you can take what you got, Roger, and mix it. But that's what I did. I already had certain things that I was doing that could have been improved on. And so I took things that you were that from your system and then I incorporated them into my life and into what I was already already trying to do. And so I would encourage encourage you guys out in the corporate world to do the same thing. You know, look at look at what what's working, look at what Roger's talking about and everything. And you know the good things that you appreciate about what he's talking about and then, you know, intertwine it so you can, so you can get there. And so Raj, man, I, I tell you, man, I'm just looking forward to meeting you, sir. Um, um, you know, um, we, we all, I, I, I love listening to you. I, I, I love the strategies and it's encouraging because we all are out here fighting to to stay in the game, fighting to to grow our companies, and and I and I appreciate you being one of the 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 pillars in the industry that's sharing sharing the knowledge and the strategies for for marketing and things like that, you know. And and then, but not only that, Raj. I mean, you've you've helped me on the on the marketing side, and then on the equipment side, and how to start putting it all together so I can, you know, grow and, and, and grow my company. Right. So I'm just, I'm just excited about next week, man. I, I'm really excited, Raj, and I, and I share this with you, but I share with Carpet World. I'm excited about going to the conference, but what I'm really excited about is when I get back on that plane and I come back over here to Fresno, and the things that I learned at the, at the conference from the speakers that are going to be there, from you, from Janae, and and just the 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 you know being able to sharpen each other. When I come back, I'm really looking forward to how my life is going to be Saturday when I come back from the conference, and and um, and so I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to that. I can't wait for Saturday. And um, and and just the growth and the knowledge and the um, just being around the other carpet cleaning world members that are going to be there too, um, that are that are listening to you know your strategies and then are applying them and everything. I'm, I'm just I'm super excited, man. I'm glad that you're putting this on. Um, <clears throat> it's the first one. It's the first event, the first carpet cleaning world event. It's the first one of many. And, and 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 if you read about any of these guys, they started off Raj with humble beginnings, you know. So so even if it's you know 10, 20, 100 of us there, those hundred people that are going to be in that room are going to be impacted, and then we'll just see the next. We'll look at our next seminar, our next group meeting. And then just watch it, watch it grow. And I couldn't let you come all the way out here, man. And you close. 
I mean, you know, Vegas is, is like six hours in the car from California from where I'm at. And then an hour, not even an hour on the plane, which, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm catching the plane, brother. And and um, and then we'll, you know, we'll be over there, man. And, and I just I'm, I'm excited, man. And, and I think that, you know, I encourage if you're on the fence, if you're on the fence and, and you, you know, you're tired of having anxiety or waking up with anxiety and wondering, like, how can I bridge the gap? That's what this program is all about. And I can tell you that because I bought the program, not because I'm a sideliner, not because I'm a, you know, somebody that, you know, that's analytical or got an opinion or, or whatever. I actually bought the man's stuff. I have it. It's in my possession. And, and then a, a lot of things, Raj, a lot of the freebie things that you share with us, I've used. Um, too. You, you see my truck. Uh, you guys, you guys could go to my website. I mean, you guys, if you, if I'm on here, you guys can go look, I've used Roger's stuff. I'm using his stuff. So, so anyway, um, I don't know, Raj, and he's not paying me to say this. I know you get, cause if he was paying me to say this, you guys wouldn't hear it in my voice. I'm excited about attending this conference. And, and, and if you're on the fence and you can come, and you're on the fence, it's affordable. It's really affordable to come to this, but the 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 takeaway is priceless. I already know it. And I ain't even it ain't even happened yet. I can feel the energy of it. And, and I'm pretty sure the, the guys and ladies that are gonna be there, they 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 feel that too. So uh uh Roger, I I appreciate man. Thanks for putting this on, man. Um, and, and, and having the courage to put this on um, with, with, with all the, the energies that, that you got to come up against when, you, when you're um, sharing what you're sharing. So. Well, I thank you for everything you said. I thank you for the, for the kind words. But most of all, what I'm hoping for to come away with is guys like you that have really applied themselves and really have tried. I want you to be able to see and feel the energy because you can only do so much in a video. And half of the time when I make these videos, I'm tired. I didn't work all day like everyone else. But this is something that I'm trying to avoid. See, this is a conference for the people that paid to come here really learn and hear it. So I don't have to worry about the negative comments and all those things. These are people that want to really take something, like you said, take it back Saturday and go to work. And it's not easy. It's not, there's no magic pill. I don't care who you talk to. There's no magic pill in running a business. Yes, there is a magic pill and getting a good job here and there, but there's no magic pill when you're trying to stabilize something, create something from scratch for yourself, for your prosperity. I'm gonna leave you like this, or we gonna leave them like this, Antoine. There's two things you need to run a successful carpet cleaning business. And this I will give for free to the carpet cleaning world. You need persistence and you need determination. What you talking about, Roger? I'm IIC certified. Yeah. You know how many guys are sitting there with that piece of paper, sitting there at home every day, trying to figure it out to how to make that phone ring? Now, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with learning the proper steps of the IICRC to learn how to professionally clean more than carpet, but carpet being the main thing. You cannot take that piece of paper to Miss Johnson's house without her saying, oh, that's great. So um, how much are you going to charge me for blah, blah, blah? That piece of paper will make you look and, and show her that you, you have the education and the knowledge, 
But see, once again, I try to tell you, carpet is something that's going to depreciate. Whether Johnny uh would a would a would a would a would a box unit come in and no heat and try to clean it, he'll at least make it smell good smell good. He'll get a spot or two out. But that piece of paper, you know, there's a lot of IIC certified guys. Oh, that was weird. Antoine, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Something just blinked around. I wonder if because of the weather here, but it's okay. Antoine, what you want to take us home with? Because I'm getting ready to dig into my dinner here. Well, well, well Raj, uh, real quick, man. Um, we we talking about systems um, next week. And um, I just want to I just want to share with everyone, you know, we're all we're all out here grinding and uh, starting up. We're, you know, starting up our companies and everything. And and uh, we're not franchises. A lot of us. I mean, there could be some people on here that bought franchises. I'm pretty sure there are. Um, but a majority of us, we don't we don't have franchises. We're not like Stanley Steamer. We're not like Service Master or, or any of those other guys that got systems. So my 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 question, uh, Roger, to to everyone is is that that if you if you don't have a franchise, if you don't have a Stanley Steamer or a Service Master or some of the other guys that are out there that are franchising, what do you have as a roadmap, a blueprint to having a successful cleaning company? And, and so my my thing is is that uh, Raj. You know, I bought your I bought your course, I bought your system and everything like that. And you know, I don't have enough money to buy no service master system or no Stanley Steamer system. You know, so what I'm saying is is that your system, your strategies and everything are are affordable, a little stretch, but but nothing but what you would get out of it. You know, I mean, I, I spent a couple of thousand dollars with you, Roger, if that's OK to say I, I did. I, there was other components outside of those that I had picked up from you and some other uh, literature and documents and postcards and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, but the return, Roger, I've already made my money back. I've already made my money back. So now so now, you know. I, you know, with, with what I got and and what you, if they haven't bought your system, they need to buy your system first, buy pieces of it, um, and then put it to work so they can grow their company, man. I, I mean, like, without having the money, Roger, to buy a franchise system, they can buy the Roger Lloyd system and grow their company. Wow. So on that note, anyone, everyone, if you're still on the fence and you think you just really might want to consider earning six thousand dollars a month consistently, yep. The phone number to register is 484-420-7220. Now it's not many seats left, it's not, but there are a few. So why don't you come on to the conference and try to do something that'll shake things up? Now, you tried it your way all this time. Try a little anarchy. Let's change it up. Do something different. But if you want to learn, if you want a strategy on how to, how to run a carpet cleaning business, you're a car carpet cleaner right now. But if you want a strategy, if you don't have one, you might already have one. But if you don't have one, you want one. And I'm not just going to tell you you should get one. I'm going to show you how to do it. And on that note, Antoine, I thank you, my brother. Yes, we'll sir. be seeing each other in less than a week now. Sir. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat my dinner here. I'm going to call my son. And um, if I get a little bit of time, I'll hit you back tonight. If not, okay. I'll hit you tomorrow. Right on, my man. 
All right, right. Carpet Cleaning World, we here. <laughs> That's it. All right. All right. All right. Good night, Thank everyone. You. Good night.